Got to keep up on my uh, Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup videos to try and finish them off. As you can see in the background, I'm currently de de um, compressing one of my uh, FTL games, and this is currently for the um, mission for the uh, Taurus, the donut ship, just before, um, just about, just to be clearing off the last two sectors before the last stand. Um, you'll be seeing this obviously in a long, long time because, as you can see from here, it's going to take a long time for me to, to compress this video. So, this is where you know I'm try trying to figure out like uh, how can I reduce this time to compress stuff. So, you may see me reducing the quality of my videos soon or other stuff as I play around the settings just to try and find out what works best for using uh, fraps and all that. <clears throat> Anyhow, I am currently with my uh, High Elf Warper, beat the Swamp, got that ruin, beat the Elven Halls, and uh, I'm a little questioning about what I'm going to be doing right now, but uh, you know, I think what we're going to do is we're going to head out to Vaults, and I'm going to just uh, mosey on around level 7 for a moment. Just, you know, clear there off there. Alright, we got a Buller Beetle and a Yaktar Captain right away. I want to put on Deflect Missile. And, uh... I suppose I don't need haste just yet, but we'll start firing perhaps at the Buller Beetle. And he hits me. As you can see, when a bullet wheel hits you, it hurts, but I decided, you know, let's let him hit me and I'll have him dead. Now, I don't see any Yakutars here. There's a center warrior. There's an uh, enchant weapon free scroll. So I've been playing Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup on uh, Wood Pals quite a bit. And I think what I'm going to do is, um... Sorry, I was about to sneeze and I didn't, but I'll... Uh, I think what I'm going to do is, after I'm done with, um... Uh, this run, I'm probably going to perhaps do Wood Pals run next. Boom, boom. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, they're all dead. Let's pick up, not the bolts, but the arrows and stuff. This guy had a war axe of electrocution on him. I don't want to be hit by a bat by anything. Uh, I'm still using the Amleth Gormand. Even though I probably don't need it at the moment. There's a shop or something in there. We're going to move my mouse over to the side here. What is with all these orcs? An orc sorcerer to boot. Get all this stuff. What's in here? That's a shop. That's a bookshop. I can get the book of stocking, tempest, hindrance, enchantments, power, burglary, and alchemy, ice, clouds, spatial translocation, and young poisoner's handbook. Uh, going through my spells and everything else, I'm thinking, you know, at this point, I could try branch it on something else, but there's really no need to. My bow is pretty powerful. I have long blades to resort to if, I, if my bows aren't cutting it. I, I'm training up armor, dodging, and 
I'm I really should probably not really worry about other spells too much. And I don't really need to worry about other spells too much. I mean I could go in here and get uh this book, for example, but I don't really need it. Um stuff in here. Like, I could get this book and get, like, Mystic Blast and Over the Destruction for later if I wanted it. I could go, um, what else is in here? You know, it's not really interesting me at all in terms of spells on this character, because I don't really need to use spells in this character to win. I'm thinking about using, like, you know, Tornado just to try and show it off, because I, I have the aptitude and air for it. And I could probably get Conjurations up quick enough so I could uh, make Conjure Ball Lightning work. <clears throat> Bunch of Elves. Did, uh, yeah, someone invisible on me. Reactivating all pickup, I'm good for that. Scroll I've never seen before. I want to uh probably identify that, I think. Couple things here, couple things there. This is a book of Earth. Don't care about that because I'm using air. Drop that off. Deep fill skeleton die. Keep exploding. There's a red bat. Fire crab. Oh, it breathed fire on me. Oh, it breathed fire again. And I've got a weapon free scroll that I didn't want to have get burned. Oh, well. Uh, let's. Equip this. Blink. Blink. This guy just loves to uh, be annoying. Uh, I'm sort of, you know, letting myself get butchered here. Let's heal up. Um. Okay, or eyes, let's cast Deflect Missile. Haste. Whoops, I missed him. Alright, so there's a question me or of why I was doing that. I'm just sort of out of touch with this character I haven't played in a long time. I fling web tiles in different characters and it's, it shows. Ravis Mick. There's an identify scroll. Let's use on the other scroll before I lose it. And that's a Vorpalized Weapon scroll, apparently. That could be useful. Rock Troll. Ugly things. This is an open door, too. Zap him, because, uh, you know, it's good to have your potty up even if it's not really going up. Dodge increase 11. White ugly thing can die. It's resisting because it's using the wrong type of thing on it. Eh, let's butcher him, eat him.
example, uh, zap him, narrow control. Probably spore can't reach everywhere. Can't probably because there's stuff on these things or something. Maybe this looks a bit odd. Maybe there's like a secret door here. There's another chant weapon free. There's a torment scroll. Let's go back to my lair. Stash. So I went to that level just to try and get back. And all right, we're back. Let's drop off these scrolls. Torrent can go up here. Enchant scrolls. Um, we'll drop them here. Replies, we'll drop that here too. Identify. Why not? We'll use these here. Here's all the stuff here. I'm just trying to think a little bit and. There's something to note. You should always consider when is a good time to start ditching your Amethyst Garment, and I'm wondering if it's, it's get, gotten to that point where I should start thinking about doing so. Uh, I don't need this Berserk Potion. Let me drop that off over here. And the Amulet, or the Axe, drop it off. All right, um, I guess when getting is back into character, I'm pretty much uh, looking good. Let's uh, head over to the spire, spire, spider spider uh, nest and let's see what it's like. Porcupine can die. <clears throat> Wow, we found we found a unique right at the start, and red wasp too. Uh, we want to kill this guy. And I'll pull this guy up. Ah, it's bigger, it's like kind of web. Hippogriff. And uh, fuck missile. Fire at Azul till he dies. I fall asleep. That's a bit annoying. You make made me go to sleep there. Never had that happen before. Okay, Azul's dead. Guardian Serpent. I can go here. Kill a chapter of spider. Trapped or a spider. The great thing about uh, being an archer, I can just fire in a direction of wherever stuff is without even having to find it. You know what it is? A tarantula. Pop him. Let's get him eaten. There's a robe and a helmet. The demon crawler scares me a little bit because they're a little bit more fierce than the other stuff here. Jumping spires are also kind of annoying, but not as much. Let's put on control teleport. I'm going to put on this. Let's smite target him. Comes into view. Blink backwards. Blink this. 
this way. Crossover, fire, fire, fire. Is that the same demo crawler? Nope, we got two demo crawlers. Let's blink this way. This way again. Fire, fire. I know there's stuff in the way, but... Okay, that one's dead. Seems to be resisting my damage quite a bit, these uh, demol crawlers. What have I got to worry about them? These guys are resistant to electricity, poison, fire, and cold. Okay, that's why they're annoying. And they're very resistant to hostile enchantments, and they're fast. Killed him. Your splash killed him. Zap, zap, zap. Uh, Spire hisses angrily. Apparently, Spire can hiss. That's an orb spider. First orb spider is dead. Bing bing. Big fish. Scorpion. Transfer. Ring mail, spider, slowly running out of arrows, I guess. There's a mock crawler, it gives a hideous streak. In a way, I kind of find the archer concept kind of boring and crawl. You fire and forget, almost. Oh shoot, it just glowed an orb of energy on me. Um, let's fire. Apparently. There's another enchant free weapon. First level is almost cleared of this. Might. What's left to explore? Jackal. Ah, oh, let's eat him. Fire a couple times at him. Done exploring. There was a grind noise, but I wonder what it was it for. But whatever. Worker ant? Why is a worker ant doing in the uh there's probably an ant colony in here. Kill him. Ah, let's get him before he gets away. There is the ant larva. There's the queen ant.
more. And more and more. There's a bunch more that I missed, but that's fine. Let's just melee these guys a little bit. The power of my melee, it's pretty effective. Do 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 do. Wow, lots of corpses there. Uh, let's put on the. Oh, this bow. Shot down one shot, apparently. Right back. Give me a gift. Give me a heavy robe. We'll see what it is in a moment when I uh, finish picking up stuff. I barely moved away from the stairs. Do 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 do. Uh, wow, I guess trances uh, make you confused when they bite you. And that's kind of not good for me. Let's blink. Too confused to cast that spell, that's not good. Uh, let's put this on. I kill him. And we are done. So you need to uh, watch out for confusion in here, apparently. Soldier Ant was apparently left. Kill these guys. Get, pray. Eat. All right, if I'm pretty much done here for a little bit, let's just see what this robe is all about. So this is the cursed um, robe of plasticity. It's got strength plus four, accuracy plus two, damage plus three, and it self curses. Uh, A large loose fitting, wide sleeve, outer garment made of light cloth. Robes easily adjust to fit humanoid bodies of any size. Um, habiliments of this sort offer only a little protection against physical harm, but their generous cut does not hinder evasion from attack or proper performance of uh, free medical gestures. So, this is not bad uh, armor actually, but I don't really need it. And we'll, uh... oh yeah, it's cursed, so I can't do uh, anything. I don't really care about it, so leave it alone. Oh, worm beetle. Fud, 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 fud. The only real bad thing about this tile set is that it's hard to tell where uh, stuff is because they blend into the ground too well. Dodging 12. There's apparently another vorpalized weapon scroll there. I don't really need two, but... Ugh. It's a spider after spider in here. A dumb crawler? 
Damn. Bye. Now we're mob crawler. I suppose these guys can move through webs. Yeah, they can. Tarantula. Don't want to get close again. This pair, get that. You die. I guess we'll have to fly over and get to it. There it goes, dead. Do 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 do. That's probably it for this level. Not exploring. Uh, let's take it back to my stash, just because I have it. You know, I like to stash useless stuff and not can use on his character. And here's a bunch of other robes. You know, it's not exactly a bad robe. It's just the problem with it is that um, it uh, it doesn't really benefit me enough to. Uh, uh, I just put it on. I didn't mean to do that. I meant to drop it. Do I have any move curse scrolls around here? Yes, I do. Let's remove it. Oh, I can't because I've got too many items. Um, well, I picked up some items I didn't really have to. Drop these throwing nets. I don't know why I picked up the needles. Probably because I expect me using needles for some reason. I've been using needles on all my other characters and web tiles lately. Drop off some fruit. Drop off meat. And now I can pick up the Ring of Curse. So we can drop this off. Put you on. And. Oh, why not? We'll just drop in our four play. Scroll it here. These here. This here. Drop these. I picked up an Berserk Rage, apparently. And that looks to be all the stuff I picked up that I didn't need. What's this? That's a shiny gold ring I've never seen before. Put it on over evasion. It's a ring of levitation. That's completely useless to me. What's this one? Ring evasion, not high enough. So those will go in the trash pile. All right, let's go back to uh, the spire nest. I just noticed my arrows are getting kind of low, so let's go pick up some more. Get whoa! Picked up way too many. Drop four hundred. Whoops. Yes. No. Number four hundred. You go. Bye bye. All right. There's an orb spider. Fired it a couple times. It hits me. Whatever. It's too close for me to really worry about it, you know, hurting me, but that's just what those do. There's another scroll I've never seen before. I'm tempted to, you know, identify them by self ID, but at this point, it's gotten to the point where I realized that if you, um, you've been re IDing everything else and you have most of the stuff already done, anyways, it's about time you start identifying to see what type of scrolls they are, because they, they're probably valuable at this point. Enchant weapon.
get holy creation spy worm Spire bites me. I'm after this guy. Whoa! Arachnes are here. So this is a new unique I've never seen before. It's called Arachne. Um, let's go look her up before I go accidentally get myself killed by her. And she only spawns in the spider's nest. Half spider, half one rack and her pets will cook against her and poison those who blunder unprepared into her lair. One of the best human we uh, once the best human weaver, Arachne was cursed by, by being transformed into her present form, half human, half spider. No longer aging, she is the youth and beauty of a human uh, human female, along with the lags and Ivan of the most monstrous giant spider. Thousand years old, she has learned magic and quite a few other tricks. Expected to be ensnared by webs and magic while her pets digest and then drag you dry. So she's a new cast spider who casts her who wields a staff of poison and likes to ensnare you in her webs while she and her spider allies heavily poison you. Poison arrow, venom bolt, ensnare, and blink. Uh, unlike most monsters in the spiderness, she is infected by ignite poison. Be careful if you're lying on the spells. Um, so she's probably going to be a little bit of a hassle to beat. I want to... I guess... Uh, Blink away. Looks like she's blinking too. And we're going to put on Deflect Missile. Haste. I uh, don't want to take any chances for her basically. Put on Shroud of Gulberia. And we will Smite Target her. Deflect the Poison Bolt. A Tarantula. I fuck that one too. Blink. I apparently don't have my um, control teleport anymore. That's fine though. Fire some more. And Saren B misses you. And she's dead. Alright, so she was carrying a staff of poison. And there's the corpse of Arachne. So she wasn't, I guess, too tough, but she could have possibly been tough if she didn't snare me. Demon Crawler. You know, I haven't noticed them yet, but there's supposed to be Demon uh, Ghost Moths running around here in the um, Spire's Nest, and I haven't seen any yet. They just have going around here, too. They are rare, of course, but I expect to see a little bit more of them. Off confusion. Let's drop this. We'll drop the one of confusion because I don't use that. And let's keep going. Tarantula. Yellow wasp. Like those. Do 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 do. Lucky brown potion. Wonder what that is. Another thing to identify. Now exploring. Let's go up to layer two and I'll uh, test out my identify scrolls on these to see what they are. All right, identify. Read, identify for um, this. That's the scroll of vulnerability, so uh, that's worth keeping, I guess, but nothing too spectacular about it. And potion of pure mutation, that is definitely worth keeping. Want to fire seven charges, cool. Um, okay. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Drop them. Drop them. 
voice the scroll there. And holy crap. I mean, I, I can use it, but not really. Don't need it. Vulnerability at least has some uses. You can use it to... I actually uh, read up a little bit about um, vulnerability. It does reduce your... Uh, um, you know, it doesn't cancel your magical enchantments and uh, does, run, does that stuff in your vicinity. Where it's actually useful, though, is that you can use it to uh, half your um, contamination levels. So if you're glowing or anything, use this and it'll like, instantly cut you like in half, I think, if your glow or whatever contamination level is. Really awesome. Cure Mutation, I want this for sure. I don't want to ever lose this. I don't want it uh, being stolen on me either, so. Drop you. I got a lot of stuff in here. Do I need all this stuff? I guess I can use it all, but. Um, let's drop off this. I'll drop off this. And let's drop this stuff too. We'll, we'll take these veg, these fruits here and I'll eat them. Keep these as backups. It's getting to a point where I'm just not going to conserve these, you know, little crappy fruits and stuff. It's take up space. All right, all right, well, spider. Oh, this guy has to die first. Chapter spider can die. More, more stuff. There's an identify scroll if I need something to be identified again. Right back. Ah, oh, so many of these red backs. Boulder beetle. Didn't even get a chance to hit me. I'm shooting it so fast. Oh, there's an Emperor Scorpion. That's a little bit more deadly. The Emperor Scorpion is uh, basically a really um, powerful little arachnid. Massive barb on its tail drips of deadly venom. Its pincers are big enough to shear you in half. Though the ordinary dungeon scorpion may be both large and dangerous, this freakish relative puts it to shame. So, uh, not something I want to be messing with. Let's just pound it. It's actually kind of slow, I think. Probably isn't slow. Um, uh, what did I just do? I just insulate myself. Not what I want to do. Okay, let's just run away from the stuff. Fire. 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 I actually stepped in a blade trapping. I hit that demon crawler. Wasp. Another one. Another one. Tarantula. That. Azrael. Well, I got the proper bow for him, so let's just take him out. Ding. Uh, actually, let's put on this first. Ow. There's a Horp Spire too, so I better just uh, put this on. Blink this way. Maybe the Orb Spire will hit something for me. Fire, fire. There we go. Take these guys out. Boom. That's what I'm talking about. Lots of death. Uh, let's go look around, find corpses to eat. This will work. Do 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 do. Orb spider. I bet it's gonna try and blast me with orb like always. You see how it's actually staying off my uh, radar, by the way? 
So basically, the orb spire, it won't actually run away, like, like, you know, always run away from you. But if it's, like, not, you know, it'll run away from you if you try to approach it. But if you aren't, you know, running away, it'll, like, you know, it'll kind of keep up with you to keep you from running away. I think that. And kill him. What's this cloak? Nothing to it. Rotting Hellhound Corpse. I saw uh, some arrows that I've, I could pick up. Restock my arrows a little bit. There's a throwing net. I don't know why I'm picking up throwing nets. I'm probably never going to use them. But I suppose if I just, if I decide I'll use the Vampire Great Source, I'm like, Dad, it'd be useful. Uh, pick these ones up. And let's go down one more level and we'll finish this nest off. Monsters nearby. You feel like being washed by something? Okay, so we we finally run into what I was, you know, wondering when I'm going to encounter it. So, uh... Let's put on the Seam Visibly Ring over my. And there it is. The Ghost Moth. This little bugger, you know, that you find him in the uh, Realm of Zot. Here he also spawns, and uh, here he also drains your mana. Let's take him up a level. Let's back away. He stare at me again. Let's do as much damage as possible out to him before you know says biting me and stuff. He's not something I want to be bitten by in Mui. And let's see here, dodging is up to 13. So I'm slowly training up my skills here. This isn't getting a lot of uh, training, but this is. That's fine. As long as they go both go up, it's good. Kill him. Kill him. Eat him. Let's go down our staircase. Let's put on evasion. Our Emperor Scorpion. Done. There's an orb spider again. There's another scroll vulnerability if you want. Eh. This looks like it'd be like a so they actually have uh loot you can get inspired. So that's cool. These guys. Trapdoor pops out. Kill this guy. Uh, it pounces on you. You're kind of web. I'll increase to 10. Another one. Some more. I should probably move this mouse so you don't uh, see that in a way. Goldfish. Boris? Did I kill Boris? I do believe I did kill Boris. So I guess we know uh, what happened to Boris. Um, I was wondering what happened when you killed him. It says that he's supposed to be, he spawns like in another part of a dungeon. 
I guess that means that he could spawn anywhere in the dungeon. In this case, he spawned um, in uh, the, what do you call it? What is this place? The Spire's Nest. Um, let's, before I do this, let's just do this. That's a Potion of Confusion. Don't want to be using that at all. Um, drop that. And let's, let's see. Let's try and take out Boris, I guess. I'm going to maybe equip this, my, my bare bow. And, and let's blink away a little bit more. And let's start powering up myself. Boom. Boom. And let's just keep that range at him while I pounce, pounce with stuff. Uh, flight. Shroud. I don't think he has electric spells. Fire, fire, kind of net. He won't give me experience if I kill him again, by the way. But uh, it's still fun to, you know, kill him again. Severely damaged, severely damaged, severely damaged. He's uh, done Orb of Energy on me. Link away. Grants me a gift. Okay, so he granted me an Elven Robe. An Elven Robe of Magic resistance at that, so that's like useless to me. Drop this off. There's his robe. Maybe I did kill Boris, I can't remember. I might not have actually killed Boris in this one. Doesn't really matter, he's dead anyways. Wow, I got poison there. Zap. Well, I wonder if I'm encountering the vault part because the wall seems to change just a little bit. Just a little bit. Fire, fire, fire. Kill him. Pow. Pow. Do this, do this, do this, do this. Ah, eh, get those. Kill him, kill him. This is probably definitely the vault. It's really kill enough spiders here for it to be the vault. You can die. Kill him, kill him, kill him. Little fan. Jumping spider. Dead. Let's eat him. Kill him and him. Another spider. There's a moth of wrath, so there's another Zot favorite. 
Let's uh, kill it first before it berserks something. I don't want to. And then we'll get the or spider. Then new. And blink. Fire, 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 fire. Kill the Emperor Scalprian. Blink again. They take a beating, don't they? Another one? Let's do this and I'll blink away, fire, 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 fire. Blink away, fire, fire, fire. If you're less uncertain, that's fine. There's another of those ghost moths, slightly transparent. What am I seeing them with? Um, have I got see? Yeah, I do have seen visibly on because I didn't take it off for Boris, didn't I? Right there. So we got. I don't want these guys to deal with. Dodging 14, I reached level 23. Whoa! Do this. I don't have enough mana because that ghost moth drained it all on me. I don't think I'll be able to outrun this guy easily. Do this. This. Went away. I would get cat uh, and yet in our web. I uh, no longer have my thing on me. Um. Blink. We run into a jumping spider. Blink. Fire. 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 Blink. Run off the shallow water. Blink. Oh, I killed it, finally. Oh, this is taking forever. Trapped your spider. I realize it's not taking that long. It's just a... I'm, I'm playing this character, it's overpowered, and it's like, when am I going to be done? When am I going to be done? Fear of Runa Zot. Yay. Got it. So there's the Spire's Nest, the one I'd never gotten from the uh, other ones. Okay, there we go. He's dead. Zap him. Uh, more stuff. Trap door. There's a door in here. That probably means that there's something behind that door. There's something behind that door. And, uh,. You know what, I feel like wasting wands on this just because I want to get this done quickly. Boom. And we'll do it again. Boom. Do it again. They're getting caught in the webs like mad. Because they're bees, they're not... Spiders. Um... Let's go with fire next. And that got the queen bee. Let's do cold. Let's beam up the sword. Zap, zap, zap. Don't care if I get burned at this point. Uh, equip this. Oh, wait. What's gonna happen when a orb spider fires with this guy in a way? 
Boom! The wavering orb is starting to hit the red back. He hit his friend. That was fun. Another one. Oh boy. Now I'm a little bit scared. That's Menace. And, uh, Menace is also extremely dangerous. Um, let's blink. I got just far enough away. I really have to think about uh, how I'm going to handle him. I'm going to drop this right away. I'm going to just keep moving away from him. He is apparently uh, falling in top pursuit. Where's the staircase? Okay, those are both there, and then the other one is down this direction. So, I'll do this. It's by that. Uh, but I might have just got caught by that. I got disintegration though, so. Pieces of ambrosia. Hmm, awesome. Let's disintegrate the wall. Yeah, I'm glowing because of constantly blinking all over the place. Ball. Okay. Um, I have to stop blinking because it's... Apparently, because I canceled Blink, I, uh... Anyways, I've got to wash it. My contention is high, my glow is high. I've got to wash, you know, just dime to that, so... Um... Let's just do a control Blink. This way. We'll do another control Blink. This way. Go up. I'm gonna do... This right now. So, uh, your magical effects are unraveling. That's fine. Uh, I desperately need to heal up before I explode or something. Um, let's zap myself with this. That has no charges on it. That's no good. I heal myself with whatever I've got on my hand. You feel much better. You feel sick. I'm poisoned too, apparently. Get rid of that. Your body shards of on rate release of uh, energy, you feel weaker, so I lost a strength point. But big deal compared to outrunning Menace, I'm really happy. I might be able to take Menace actually with this character because he is pretty strong, but Menace is not something I want to be screwing around with. I got the ruin there. Yeah, actually, you know what? Let's just try to kill him. I've already got the ruin. That's pretty much happy enough for me. Um, drop all these. I should have picked up those. Uh, let's drop recharge scrolls on this empty wand. It glows for a moment, so it's recharged with something. I don't know how many charges it's got, but it's got some charges. And I picked up another crappy. Drop you, not cast you. Chant armor can be dropped. Identify can be dropped. And. The neck can be dropped. Let's drop number 300, you, drop some arrows, um, okay, so I'm pretty well 
uh, capable of taking on Mance, I believe. He is tough, but at the same time, I'm pretty tough as well at this point, so I could take him. Uh, what would be the best bow for him, though? The thing about Mance is that he's, uh, he's not just strong, he's just outright, uh, you know, silence you, prevent you from blinking or anything like that. Uh, let's see, let's just look through here. I've got this, um, I don't want, want that right now. All, but I suppose it's carrying around for cold protection. I don't need it for menace though. Same abilities, damage knife two, stealth, magic distance. Does that help at all? Let's look over him. So he's got Sans Confused and Minor Healing. So I do want, I guess, Sans been using it to uh, prevent that from happening. I could probably take the off this. I'll just read it up about Menace has strategy of a center warrior, hits hard in a stone giant, and almost as evasive as uh, one of the Pandemon Lords. He has a standard angel sh gear, a large shield, and a holy wrath weapon, making him exceedingly dangerous to undead or lichform characters. He has the same as it's hard to kill. Once Menace sees you, it may already be too late. He is faster than most species, and once he gets even moderately close, his six tile sounds that represents casting spells, reading scrolls, and all evocal abilities. Most traditional escape methods are impossible. You cannot read a scroll teleportation scroll blinking or command your allies to win silence. Hasting yourself with a uh, potion of speed or wand of hastening will only bring you up to his speed, which is uh, almost never enough to escape well, if, if he's already in the range. Haste is centered in experience, those of range should be fine though. Menace's magistration is far high for one slowing, one of or one of to affect him. Finding trans abilities requires the ability to speak. Uh, Wishing a good job makes him neutral too sometimes. Feeling that a well-equipped mid-level tank character should be able to overcome his defenses. High-level casters or followers of Trog can all also handle him easily enough if they spot him at the end of their sight. Even Menace will gradually succumb to Firestorm or Armor Berserk as well allies. Anyone else may wish to escape immediately. Escape controls are fine as long as your outside sounds free, so don't wait until too late. Evoco escape rose says want to teleport, ring of teleportation, warp by card, artifact, and blink ability so still functions normal, though waiting for a teleport to kick in will be painful. Think ahead, a want of teleportation should be fine. Um should be one of your first shot purchases. Hasting yourself with a t uh, at least two styles between you and him will let any non naga species make it to a sticker without him catching up and following you. Non trog forms of berserk functions give uh, you an equivalent of speed of haste, just don't let it off before before you escaped. Uh, I'll build their um, uncommon dangerous help on down the shaft will work. That won't work for me though. I think there's not really much I can do, but I can probably take him. It's just that he's going to hurt like hell. Um, this is a good time to start thinking about the weapons I've got. Specifically, it's a good time to start thinking about uh, the Great Sword of Vampiric. That I've got over here somewhere. Because that would work decently enough on him. That would be viable to put on just for the set, for, you know, just to beat him. So we're going to pick that up. And. Think, 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 think. What amulets have I got? I've only got uh, one amulet, amulet Gourmand. That's kind of odd to believe. Oh, there they are. Stasis. Stasis won't help me though, really, against him. Will it confuse? Doesn't get stuck by this, does it? No. Um. I don't like Stasis because it prevents me from blinking. Well, whatever. This goes on over. I guess the ring of evasion. And. What uh, else have I got in here? Pick up those. That's a lot to be carrying, though. Um, hmm. That's not going to help me here.
Ortis. I'll keep that for Ghost Moths, I guess, just in case they pop up. Um, don't need that for him. Strength is fine, but not really at the moment. I can drop off these arrows dispersal for the moment. Uh, we'll drop food. There we go. Alright, so that's pretty much what I need to do to get ready for him. Drop out this. Command C invisibility. C invisible. And, um... He's resistant to all attacks, so... Poison, electric, negative energy, and holy aren't going to do any damage on him. What basically what I want to do is I want to try wheeling him down, down from range first and then like make, take him with some vampiric sword. This is about as good as it gets though, so let's just see if I can take him. And... Fire four. Disentangle yourself. There's a something to eat. Now I came just down this staircase because it's away from him. And I can look around. So that's where Menace was. He's in that small little alcove over there. I'm being very careful, moderately careful, as I walk around here because it's hard to cast a bunch of spells when he silences you. I have to do it beforehand. I also want to explore everything else around here. I could leave him alone, so I might have to. But I do want to try killing him. Now, food from him. All right, so, except for over there, explored. There he is. Uh, let's uh, do what? I don't have blink scrolls this time around. And this sounds, or it goes through walls, so I'm only gonna get the chance to do haste, I guess. And let's just run a little bit away from him. Oh, well, you know, he uh, got trapped behind a wall or something. Deflect missile. That's not really going to help me, but if there's other stuff, it will. Flight. Shroud of Gulberia. Control teleport. He's behind that wall. I know he's behind that wall. Let's zap that wall with disintegration. Firing. Boom. 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 You got trapped in a web. But you know, I killed him. Outright. That's. Ooh. 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 Do you know my blade of holy wrath? How about I just tell you what this is first? Um. So, in the game. There is uh, no way you can ever pick up this type of weapon unless you kill, say, an angel. Because the only way to p pick up um, an human blade is if basically if you're worshiping a shining one and you get a demon weapon, you can convert it into a human blade or you have to take it off an angel's corpse. So as you see, I took it off Menace here. And uh, it's a pretty powerful weapon. It's got negative two accuracy, but has a damage rate of 14. And it has Holy Wrath on it, so pretty powerful. That was pretty fun. Okay. Let's uh, I'll explore the rest of the level. First time killing Menace there. 
I didn't have to resort to using the, uh, uh, what do you call it, sword. All right, let's go to layer two. So I guess I over prepare for him just a little bit, but uh, it's never uh, what I'm saying. He's never you can never over prepare for menace of all people. Um, let's drop a bunch of heal wounds potions and. I'll keep the rest. Let's, uh... Hmm. Well, anyways, let's uh, actually go in here. Into the, um... How do I look for his weapon? I guess we'll go to weapons. And we'll look in there. Uh, I'm not going to use this weapon, by the way. It's probably a nice weapon, but... You know, meh. I don't think I'll be using one hand long blades this time around. The bow, um, well, here's how it works. Basically, with bows, you ha you can't really wear w equip a shield of them. You have to, you know, sort of use the uh, two hand weapons instead because they're easier to equip. So I'm probably never going to use it, but whatever. Or keep it handy just because it is actually stuff I should consider using. Um. I beat Menace! I'm happy! Mm -hmm. Now what? That's the big question. If we use mutation... Uh... I don't have got any artifacts in here, do I? I do, but whatever. Let's take... This off, put this on, and I'll drop this. Don't want that getting corroded. Um, that seems like a good idea. You're probably wondering what I'm doing right now. Uh, basically, at this point, I'm running out of places where I can uh, sort of um, what can I say? Go get ruins. I could go to the vault, but what I'm thinking is, why not revisit the slime pits again with this character? I did with my field well enough, but in a sense, my field uh, sort of, you know, this sort of hodgepodge by like blasting and running away. Let's try see how, how how it works with something overpowered, shall we, this time around, and see if it's you know any different. And what do I need? I want this uh, resist mutation for stuff in there. I don't have uh, resist clarity though, so that's a bit of a bummer. I should be fine though. If I see like a, a something that can confuse me, I'll just or yeah, something that confuses me, I'll just pop it real quick. Uh, stasis is not something I'm gonna take though. I should keep on Zon's amusement though, I guess, for the um, what do you call it, the slime pits, just so I don't have to worry about. Being spell skin cast on me. I think we're good to go for the slime pits with all this gear. I mean, this is artifact. This is gonna get you know completely destroyed, but whatever. Um, what I'm probably gonna do is actually I should probably put this on. If I put this on over. This one, this won't get corroded anymore, and this will have high resistance to it. I don't mind if this gets corroded because you know it's this can get corroded to death, and I can always stick with something else. It's just seen visibly on that helmet. Um, we're gonna find by scroll. No, we're gonna do this again. I'm gonna zap. Uh, these recharge scrolls on my heal wands. So heal wounds, uh, seven charges, do it on the other one. It glows for a moment. You're probably wondering what I'm doing. 
I have to identify scroll. I know I have HRs on that one. And I know I have HRs on that one. So I have two wands for healing myself in the slime pits, and that's the purpose for it. Um, reverse corrosion. We're actually going to take off a growing amulet now. And I'll drop it right here. And we're going to be running in around the slime pits with uh, resist corrosion. So I'm going to be taking food. Again. Take this. Take this. And we're going to drop a bunch of the bread. Number. Where's the bread? Number 14H. Take all that food for now. And I don't want to really damage my uh, great sword here, triple sword for my god. So, what type of uh, weapons in here can I use to uh, fight a melee? I don't really need one for melee, but that's Doom. Actually, let's go check my uh, pile over here. My massive, massive weapons. I could take this down. That'll work well. That'll be my uh, weapon of choice for combating stuff, because I don't mind that it gets corroded a little bit, and they'll at least do some damage. Uh, okay, so I think we're prepared enough. Thank you for watching. I uh, will probably do the slime pits then next, and uh, we'll see how far I get. Oh yeah, I was going to do this here and I. Um, what was I doing again? I was going to a weapons page to uh, show you off the, the blade and such. So, you know what a blade is? It's basically a demon blade, and um, basically you have one more damage on top of the... Uh, Demon Blade, it has a little bit less hit and it is a little bit faster. But basically, this is like the one of the best one handed weapons you can get. The Blessed uh, Double Sword would probably be better. Eh, it, you know, it's, it's debatable, I guess, because it's hard to ever find a double, double sword to begin with. But this is probably a really great weapon to find, so. And you can bless your Demon Blades easily enough. Blessed Demon Blade. Alright, so that's enough of that. Hope you enjoyed my uh, video. And let's see how far I can go along with this uh, warper in the slime pits.